Hey guys, it's Andy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to scan with the BLK to go. So we're here in a pretty typical office building, and I'm gonna take you through every step of the way on how to scan with the BLK to go. Uh, to turn on the BLK to go, I'm going to uh, just press the power button, and it's gonna start flashing yellow. I'm gonna set this down on the, on the table stand here. And in a second, uh, the ring is gonna turn green, and that means it's ready to go. Once the ring turns green, it's ready to go. So I could go ahead and start a scan and walk through my entire building right now. Uh, but in this case, I wanna show you how to scan with the BLK to go live app on your phone. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app. And if this is the first time connecting to your BLK to go, you'll have to pair it with your phone. So I'm gonna uh, tap new BLK to go. It's gonna ask me to scan a QR code. The BLK to go will come with a QR code on a little card like this. Um, but if you're using a new phone in the future or you lose this card, uh, you can always find the same QR code under the battery of the BLK to go. So I'm going to go ahead and scan this. And then it'll pair with the, the BLK to go. Now that it's connected, I can see a little thumbnail for each of the scans that I already have on the BLK to go. Um, and before I start scanning, I want to decide if I want my images compressed or not. Um, by default, the image compression is on. This makes for uh, quicker import times and smaller data. But if I, if I want um, a higher quality image, I can turn this off. So I'm going to go into my settings and turn off image compression. Now when I want to start the scan, all I need to do is press the power button and you'll hear the scanner start to spin. Uh, now the ring around the scanner is gonna blink yellow and it's very important that the scanner stay absolutely still um, while, the sca while the ring is blinking yellow. Once it's green, you'll see the data start to come across on the app. And now I can go ahead and start moving the scanner. Now as I walk on the app, I can see exactly where I started and a little trail to where I currently am. Now the data on the app is only a fraction of the total data that the blk to go is capturing, uh, but it does give you a good idea of what you've already captured. When you're looking at the 2D view on the app, uh, it's especially clear how the data is being populated uh, when you enter into a new room. This 2D preview is really helpful so you know exactly where you've already captured this data. Uh, if you tap on the 3D button, it'll bring you to a 3D uh, point of view, uh, view of the point cloud. Uh, so now I can see the point of view from the scanner uh, as I move through the, the cloud. Um, I can also pinch to zoom and zoom out so I can get a, a good view of the point cloud that I've already created here. Now let's talk about doors. It is possible to just walk straight through just like this. Um, but to create a stronger connection between two rooms, one technique is to slide through sideways so that the scanner has an unobstructed view of both rooms at the same time as it makes the transition. Now if you come up to a closed door, it's the same thing, except I'm going to open the door first, um, pause for a second while the scanner um, can see both rooms, and then move through to my next room. Now let's talk about how to hold the scanner while scanning. Uh, you'll notice I hold the BLK to go directly out in front of me, and this is because it filters out a slice directly behind it so that I'm not captured in the data. Now you can see that I'm not walking too fast. Uh, the speed that I walk is going to directly affect the density of the data. The faster I walk, the less dense the data will be. This means that if I want a little more detail in a particular area, all I need to do is slow down uh, so I can capture a lot more detail in a particular spot. Another feature uh, of the blk to go is the detail camera. If I want to take a picture with the detail camera, all I need to do is give the power button a quick press while scanning. You'll see that the, uh, the, the green ring will flash really quickly, uh, and then about a second later, uh, you'll see a quick preview of the image on the, on the app. Now this, this uh, image will be located in 3D space uh, in the point cloud when you bring this data over to the computer. All right, so now I've completed my circuit of the whole building. Um, all I need to do to stop the scan uh, is go ahead and press and hold the power button for about three seconds. You'll hear the scanner stop. Um, and that's all there is to it. I've scanned this entire building. 
uh, with the BLK to go. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and export this data off to the computer, um, clean it up a bit, and then export it to the program that I need to work in. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.